What's going on, you guys? Today, Senpai Rai is probably going to do a showcase on me, and this is going to be his seventh showcase in six days. It, it, whatever. <laughs> He's an effing tryhard. I mean, wh why would somebody need to flex so hard? I mean, he... <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I've never even seen two showcases back-to-back -back with fully maxed and capped and cored characters two days in a row. And he put seven out in six days? What what reason could he have for doing that? That's just dumb and a waste of time and energy. Oh, be cool. I think I see him coming right now. Oh, what's going on, Lady Big? Oh, hey Ryan, we were just singing your praises about how you're so cool and everything by putting seven Fest character showcases out in six days. Oh, I mean, it, I'm not really doing that to flex or anything. What? What do you mean? If you're not doing that to flex, then why are you doing that? Because that doesn't make any sense if not. I mean, Lady Big, I thought you knew me better than that right now. The reason I did all that was because... I just want there to be as much information out there as possible regarding the characters, fest units, all-stars that people want to see. That way, whenever they either play as them or play against them, they know how to counter them, or they know a few uh, tidbits in order to use them more efficiently. I mean, that's what senpai means. It, it means teacher or <laughs> upperclassman. Why, why are we even discussing this? Happy guy. Oh, no reason. Whatever. What goody two shoes do gooder? <laughs> so, um, uh, I know that you went out with uh, Vanessa last night. Vanessa and Maya, I believe. How did that go? Oh, it went great. <laughs> you know who Orochi Yori is? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a pretty iconic character. I mean, Kyo's rival, if I remember correctly. <laughs> well, Vanessa was hitting on him all night. Wait, what? What what did you say? That's right. Oh, and have a bite of this apple. I got it from that cool looking tree over there. The one that's all twisted. It's delicious. Wait, wait, wait. So my my buddy, Orochi Yori, was getting hit on by Vanessa last night, by my baseball Vanessa. You heard me. Let's T Hold on. Iori. Yes, Ryan. <laughs> I can't wait to do a showcase on you, by the way, buddy. But was Vanessa hitting on you last night? Whenever you saw her out at the Infinity Club? Yes, she was. Look at my goddamn face. She beat me the F up. Oh, she really did do a number on you. Plus, uh, I think that you need to go to the doctor, buddy. That yelling in the eyes, that jaw, that jaundice is getting really bad on you. Thanks, Ryan. I'll look into it. But don't pay attention to Lady Big. That's a venomous serpent. And I have a goddamn viper in the background, and I'm saying that. That's good advice right there, if I ever heard it. But... Plus, I didn't know that she was your girl. I would have never tried to pick her up if I knew that. I respect you too much because you're a G. Oh, well, thank you, Orochi Ori. Well, let me see, uh, what... Good night. Don't listen to him. He, that little fruitcake. He can barely speak words. I'm your only friend, Ryan. <laughs> listen to everything I say, because I'm not toxic at all. Wink. <laughs> well, that was, um... That was a little bit different. Uh, can we just move into your cores, please? Because I'm sure that that's what people really want to hear about instead of your false prophecy ideologies of how the world is a terrible place and how you're a terrible person because of it and you must spread your terror mongering <laughs> to everybody because of this fact. What an asshole. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Happy guy. Okay, I finally get my chance to shine. Yep, well, uh, 
this is my final showcase for at least a couple days. I thought I'd end it in a big way. Uh Uh-huh, Ryan. Your pathetic attempts at humor are so not funny. Uh, In fact, you did uh, a preview of me a couple of weeks back. It has over a thousand views, but it sucked balls. It was terrible, Ryan. You didn't show my abilities the way you should have, and it was just kind of lame. I'm so happy that I took time out of my day (laughs) to listen to (laughs) a cartoon anime-looking character talk down to me. (laughs) There's nothing I'd rather do than (laughs) listen to that nonsense. Yeah, so, um, could, uh, you back back and, uh, let me do my own showcase, please? Because I think I could do it a much better way than you can. What? I'm being serious. No, no. I I have heard uh, every single word that you said, and I'm going to take two steps back and do it however you want. I mean, this is your showcase. Dig a hole in the ground if you want to. Okay, here I go. Come on in, you broke bastards. This is the Lady Mr. Big Showcase. As you can see, I like the finer things of life. Look at the back of my screensaver. I have all kinds of things that you need as essential party favors, including my five-tier card, which is right there. Bam! Right here. This one costed so much money, but like I said, I like the finer things in life because that's how I do things. When it comes to my actual cards I use, of course, I had the gender-swapped regular version of me, the, uh, the, the Mr. Big, you know, because look at him, he's balling. I mean, uh, <laughs> my girl's got a girlfriend too. How about that? Next, oh, and, uh, just to bring this handsome devil up, looking like my brother, uh, this card whenever you get the set, increase the defense by 7%. So 7 times 3 is once again 21. And whenever you equip the set, the function is is it increases attack by 42% of defense and recovers HP by 3% and gains 3% power upon defeating an enemy. And with my skill set, I defeat enemies pretty often. And I'm about to show you that in a second. Now, obviously, since I'm a defensive type and one of my cores is influenced by defense, a good set of cards would be the Kula K- cooldown cards, two of them, because it would influence defense, and also with a Mr. Big set, it'll convert a little bit of that into attack, which is an awesome thing. But this is a cool card right here, and this one was a free-to-play card that they give you at the beginning of the Baseball Vanessa event, if y'all remember correctly like I do, and that was it increases your attack by 5%, and it also increases poison and bleed. Now, I don't really bleed people out too much unless they let me hold on to their credit card but I mean I'm a more poison type I like being toxic I like seeing the bad in life it makes me feel good gives me joy but enough about me let's talk about this some more so it also increases attack by 5% for 5 seconds when attacking a bleeding or poison enemy. So that's a nice little boost right there with a seven second cooldown. And of course, y'all know that Nameless is coming up. I gotta get favor with y'all some way, shape, or form. So let's pay small tribute and get the Nameless Man card, which increases crit rate by 1.7, which is another one of my core affiliated effects. And it also increases poison damage by 5.2%, which is kind of massive. So I'm extremely toxic with these two cards, but once again, the cool K-Dash set uh, option cards would be a good exchange as you can see the way we do things balling out of control i have all my cores completely maxed out once again my core stats are influenced by hp defense and crit rate and let's see what we got over here i hope that y'all like my garb too uh senpai rai got it for me for my birthday it's actually a giant black panda fur I like expensive things in life. And you like my belt buckle? Yeah, they they killed about six bald eagles just to make it out of their beaks. I'm expensive, y'all. I mean, that's how I do things. I'm the big lady. I'm the big boss lady. I'm the big, if you buck up against me, I will crush you type of lady. Ah, I have venom seeping through every single pore in my body, too. I love being the bad guy. 
Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's see what kind of things I have in my profile right here. Okay, I like making plans to take over Southtown. Oh, Terry, I'm about to F your world up, boy. Because <laughs> that's where he lives. He lives in Southtown. Now, if we look at my skills, uh, the first one, it's attack plus. This is good. It increases attack equal to 30% of defense for 7 seconds when using a skill. So, this supplements my attack by giving it a proportion off my defense, which is nice. And this is a slow ground moving projectile skill that moves about a half to three quarters of the stage. Great for picking people up. The next one is cross diving. And that's when I just shoot across the stage, full viper regalia, and try to just poison them with my poison effect, which is called venom. Once again, I am a venomous serpent of a character. And who is, who said it was terrible to be a toxic human being, right? Yes, some people like it. But once again, that gives venom damage to target for six seconds upon landing a skill. And what how much that does is it equals 35% of defense, not attack, of defense every one second for that six seconds. And also decreases power charge rate by 80%. So not only that, they're going to have a hell of a time trying to get their PG together if uh, if I hit him with my fast moving venomous skill too. Now, this is my strongest ability right here in my opinion, the California romance. Ah, I look like I'm from California. Don't I? <laughs> what y'all think, y'all? But that's not the mindset. People in California are more free thinking and I look the part, but I got that wrong type of attitude. The one that you love to hate. Plus a little bit of eye candy too. Everybody's favorite. Mm mm mm. Now, for my California Romance, that's the one that gives me hyper armor for 3 seconds, which is super armor plus damage immunity, and can be used while being attacked, only while standing. So as long as I'm standing getting hit, I can just hit the skill 3, and I have hyper armor, and it's a forward moving, nice, wonderful skill, very powerful. My next 3 and 5 tier specials are just damage, and my striker skill deals venom damage to all enemies for 5 seconds, and that's essentially the like above the 35% of defense stat and that's every one second for five seconds and also decreases power charge rate by 80% so it's an okay one but a little bit more situational because you don't really care about people's power charge rate as much in PvE so let's preview my skills real quick and jump right in that way I could jump into some fake PvP and show you how this sidewinder slides Oh, so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> let's jump back into this real fast. That way we could go into just Hi. my skill set right here. That's a slow moving ground projectile move. The ground blast is the one that gives a little bit of attack compared to uh, based off of a percentage of my defense. Now this is my skill too. The one that gives venom damage equal to 35% of my defense as well it's a nice one to have and it's a good fast forward pushing skill that combos a lot once again my moves all hit a whole hell of a lot so whenever you combo with them they will be able to just a activate crit more often times than you would know and it is wonderful to see too so now we're gonna go into my skill 3 I love this one once again it's a forward moving push skill that ends with popping the target up in the air and giving me hyper armor. Once again, all my skills can very easily combo into each other. It does not matter. Literally, they can all combo into each other. And my third basic attack, the one where I smack the ground, is when I can pick people up. Now, my three PG finisher, this is a nice one because it hits a wide fireball, the same proximity as Shermie's three PG card, or three PG super, and as you can tell, there was a similarity between both of them, both of us, because we have that similarity boost whenever we have that link skill. Now, whenever I get kind of rowdy and want to throw down a little bit, I hit this five tier on them, do a little dance, show them a little love, and put them down tonight. That's how I do it. And me being the big boss lady, I always get my way. Now, let's jump right into it infinite fight and see how I could put these skills together and just ruin somebody's day 
in the best way. Before I go into Infinite Fight, I'm kind of hungry. Let's get some food. Let me dig through my phone and call one of my girls up. Yeah, we have Orochi Shermi, Leona, or my brother. Let's give Shermi a call. Balling. Balling. Hello? Hey, girl, what you doing? Oh, hi. What's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm about to get up in that ass up in fake PvP in a second, and I wanted to see if you wanted to grab a bite to eat with me before that happens. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Where you want to go? Hmm, that is the question. What do I want to eat? Hmm. Seems that my favorite foods are... Ozoni, which is a soup with soft rice cake. Sounds delicious. We all, I, I'm also in the mood for some Saba noodles. Or, or some tacos. <laughs> or some sushi. Damn, girl. You love to eat, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Share me. I will murder your face. Never say that to me again. Well, I don't know what. I gotta get some of this food in me. Because I need to inf influence these cores. <laughs> The cores that most influence me are skill, strike, enhance, crit rate plus 2.4, defense plus 1900, which is nice because I am a red defense type, and that will also influence my attack stat. Once again, my defense style green type, where I get damage decreased from that element, I have a 20% PG gain, which is mid to upper, I've seen it as high as 30%, HP plus 8400, which is a nice addition for any defense type, and this is one of my notable cores, one of my favorites, the Fever Level 3, which, 6 seconds after I am attacked, I stun the enemy for 2 seconds, and it has a relatively short 19 second cooldown, so after they hit me, I could guard or back up or fire off a few skills to waste some time, and 6 seconds later, bam! That takes effect, and they're effed up for another 2 seconds. Teehee! <laughs> is, that, is that how a cute little Japanese character would sound that you're trying to make sound like a bad guy? Would they, would they say, teehee? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my second notable core <laughs> My second notable core is my elegant outfit. You remember the one? The one where I took a beloved endangered animal and I had him skint alive and now I'm wearing him as my Sunday attire. My elegant outfit, my giant black panda of a jacket that I tra treasure so much. That gives me the ability to decrease enemy's power by 1.5% when attacked. So if they hit me, they automatically lose a little bit of PG gain, and it has a 1 second cooldown, so they can't spam it if they're a quick hitting character, but 1 second does pass relatively quickly, you guys, in the grand scheme of things. So, this other thing is actually kind of interesting, you guys. Check this out. I have a PvP exclusive, and aren't those always always special and that gives a 50% chance very important 50% chance to decrease the targets attack by 40% which is massive for 10 seconds upon landing an active skill with a 15 second low to mid level cooldown so this is effing amazing because I have a 50% chance to decrease your attack by almost 50% 40% Every time I land an active skill and they all combo into each other, this one Fs people's worlds up in the most epic way, and I've seen it firsthand. It is amazing. But enough about me, you guys. Let's junk a bit of some fake PvP and keep this party a moving. Seven, six, okay, five, on to the infinite four, fight matching three, game show. Two, where One, I'm looking for a new fight. daddy. Because Senpai Rai doesn't treat me right anymore. So, let's see what the lineup looks like tonight, you guys. Okay. 
no matter how rich I am, it never seems to be able to afford a suitable connection Round to this one. game. Okay, contestant number Ready? one, Peace, what are you offering? Go. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm gonna roll the ball. The baddest of the bad. Terry's enemy. We can take a look at town together, girl. Okay, that sounds good. Like, um. But. I'm just too perfect for you. Can't do it. Let's see what else we have on the list. Contestant number two. What are you offering? I am offering Armageddon. I am he. The destroyer of all that is good. I am Rigorugal. And I take shit from nobody. And I do not care if your hair looks like the Cape of Nameless. I will show you who the true name of this billboard is. And that is Omega Rugal. The one and only. You cannot stop me, little girl. You are nothing. I do not care if you do a sexual dance and make a little love. And maybe possibly get down tonight. But at the same time. Oh, ow. You win. <laughs> Sorry, that was boring. Number three, Ready? shirtless guy with tribal tattoos. What are you offering? Oh, well, you see, I'm a god. <laughs> People that love the road are gonna hate. Just tell him, George. <laughs> tell me more about the rabbits. <laughs> the bright lights hurt me. Looking into them dead lights. Ew. Was that a Stephen King hit reference? Get out of here. He's amazing. Well, you guys, this should just about round this boring video up. Of course, it was boring because it was one of Senpai Rise. Duh, creation. Give me, give, woman, give me the mic. Give, give, give. Now. This is my show. And give, no, you had your time, please. Asking nicely, give me the mic. Fine. If you weren't so cute, senpai. That's disturbing. Thank you for the mic. Well, you guys, once again, this has been Senpai Rai, and um, I have hope that you have liked my showcase of so, Lady Mr. Big. And once again, everything that she said was strictly her opinion. <laughs> they don't um, employ my thoughts or ideals in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but again, you guys, I put these um, seven Fest Unit Max showcases out in six days. Uh, simply because I wanted to give both newer and older players something that I did not have whenever I started playing this game about three months ago. And that was just personal insight through... It feels like hundreds of hours of just grinding through with each individual character that I've done a showcase with to where I became versed enough to where I can show you the personal findings that I've had on that character and how things work as far as comboing in both having that character used against me and using that character personally but it's also all these videos were also meant to inspire and and what I meant mean by inspires I want to inspire just anybody that's it doesn't matter if you have um one or like 20 fest units or whatever if you are extremely versed with that unit and you have them completely max potential hit the record button and speak on them because i mean i haven't seen any good ones out there with max gonets or chrysalid or a maxed orochi shermi all I mean, and these are the kind of things that i wish that i was able to see whenever i first started playing this game and not only that even if they have a million other showcases on a specific character put a new one out if you have, especially if you have any kind of new insight on that character, because what I'm, I'm essentially trying to do is, I, I just want to inform whatever community and be as much of a contributing member of any community that I'm a part of. And right now, one of the communities I am a part of is the KOF All Star community. So why would I want to change the recipe of the way I do things with anything else in life? That's that's just who I am as a person. I mean, I'm the type of person that I'd rather take a failed leap than a half successful step because once again I, I haven't even seen two fest units showcase back to back I could have stopped at two but I, I, I try to crush it with seven because I wanted to put as much information out there and even if I'm not getting paid for this wisdom is infinitely more prized in my mind and as far as one thinking that, oh, I don't have the equipment to hit the record button. 
literally, once again, every single video that you have ever seen from me and my channel has been recorded off of a 32 gig iPhone 7 POS that they don't even make anymore, you guys. Now, that's all, that's all I'm trying to do. Whatever community I'm a part of, I want to make sure it shines the brightest it can. And with my own hands, I will try to influence that to the best of my ability. That's all I'm trying to say. So, once again, this has been your guy, Senpai Rai. And I have hope that y'all have enjoyed my material. And I will see y'all next time. Later.